In this recording, we look at how we can graph a polar curve. And when a curve has a polar equation, it means it is written r equal to a function of theta, where for a given point on the curve p, r is the distance of p from the origin, and theta is the angle that the line from the origin to p makes with the positive x-axis. So let's look at an example. If we had r equals 1 plus 4 cos theta, the first thing we would do is set up a table of values for theta, as shown below. And it's up to us what increments we use for theta. The main thing is to get a reasonable impression of what the graph looks like. And here we will soon see that going up in 30 degree increments will in fact give us a reasonable picture of this graph. So r equals 1 plus 4 cos theta. The first thing is to work out r for each of these angles. Firstly, when theta equals 30, r equals 1 plus 4 cos 30. Now cos 30 degrees is the square root of 3 on 2. So this will become 1 plus 4 times the square root of 3 on 2, which works out to one decimal place to be equal to 4.5. And that will be reasonable accuracy here, since we're just trying to give a reasonable sketch. The next angle, 60 degrees, 1 plus 4 cos 60, that's 1 plus 4 times a half, which is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 90, 1 plus 4 cos 90, no, cos 90 is just 0, so that will be 1 plus 0 is 1. Similarly, for 120 degrees, 1 plus 4 cos 120 works out to be 1 plus 4 times negative 1 half, so that works out to be negative 1. Similarly, we can find these others. At 150 degrees, we find to one decimal place, r is negative 2.5. At 180 degrees, r is negative 3. At theta equals 210 degrees, r is equal to negative 2.5, correct to one decimal place. At theta equals 240 degrees, we find r equals negative 1. At 270 degrees, r equals 1. At 300 degrees, r equals 3. At 330 degrees, r equals 4.5. And finally, at 360 degrees, we obtain r equals 1 plus 4 cos 360, which works out to be 1 plus 4 is 5. So these are the values of r for each of our values of theta. And we could graph this curve using polar graph paper or equivalent. So if you look at what we have below, you'll notice a circular region which has been divided up with those angles on it. But before we do this, when we plot points, it's important afterwards that we join them in the correct order. So let's start off by labelling our first pair, r and theta, which was theta is 30 degrees giving r value of 4.5. We'll call that a. The next one we'll call B, and we'll continue in this way, labelling each of the points we found, which, as I said, will help us to join these up correctly once we have plotted them all. Now to plot our points on here. And you'll notice our values of R range from negative 3 to 5. So what's important is the magnitude of these values, so the value with the largest magnitude is 5. Therefore, let's consider the outer edge of this circle shown here to be 5, and plot the other points in proportion to that. Now our first point A was for theta equals 30 degrees, and the value of R equals 4.5, meaning 4.5 is 90% of 5, so we would go nine-tenths of the way along towards the outer edge of the circle to plot our point A here. And as I said, I'll also label that A 
for later reference. 60 degrees, that gives a value R equals 3. So we want to go about 3 fifths of the way along towards the edge of the circle, which will be there. So that will be our next point B on the curve. At 90 degrees, we have 1. So that will just be about a fifth of the way along, for instance. And that will be labelled as point C. Next is interesting, 120 degrees. R is negative 1. So 120 degrees is going out this way. But when R is negative, we go one unit in this case, but in the opposite direction. In other words, pointing out in the 300 degree direction here. And we go along one unit there, which will be about here. And that is then point D on our curve. Point E, again, negative R. So while normally we would have gone in the 150 degree direction for point E, we go 2.5 units in the opposite direction, which is the 330 degree direction. And 2.5 is a half of 5. So we go along to about here, and that is point E. The next one then, point F, 180 degrees, but negative 3. So where's that going to go? It's going to go 3 in the direction opposite to that. So point F is going to be there. And we continue on in the same way. Point G, opposite 210 degrees is 30 degrees, so point G is going to be here. Point H, opposite 240 degrees is 60 degrees, so that's going to be the equivalent of one unit along here. I, now you'll notice we're getting positive values of R again, so 270 degrees, length 1, that's about there, a fifth of the way out towards 5. 300 degrees, that one there is 3, so that's about 3 fifths of the way towards the edge of the circle. 330 degrees is 4.5, so that's about there. And lastly, 360 degrees is actually equal to 5, which with our scale was right on the edge of that circular region. So here are all of our points, and all of these here have been labelled now. So we now start the process of joining. Now we started with point A, so we must join point A onto point B with the smooth curve. From there we will then be joining B with C. Point C will then join to point D. D will join to E. E joins to F. F joins to G, to H, round to I down to J, joining that around to K. And lastly, from K around to L, which is there. So here is our curve. Now you might notice something. We're starting to see a bit of a shape here. There's still just a bit of a gap there. So it raises the question, what would happen if we kept going? And if we realise, as in this case, we might just want more information, we could always look at another value of R. And what would happen, for instance, if we continued on to, to theta equals 390 degrees? Now, if we put theta equals 390 degrees, because we're looking at cos theta, 390 degrees is equivalent to 30 degrees. And so we would have exactly the same expression plotted at exactly the same point as our first one here. That is 1 plus 4 cos 390 degrees would again be 4.5. So that continuing on with that next point, it would actually then join up to our first point A. And this pattern would then keep repeating. So that this then is a picture of our polar curve represented by R equals 1 plus 4 cos theta.